What's up? How are you guys this week? It's actually Sunday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. A little bit going on tomorrow and Tuesday, so I wanted to keep you guys updated on the always new and exciting stuff we have going on. And just to start off, I did want to say when you guys support me and my businesses, you know your money is going to trustworthy and honest people, I guess more relevantly, not in the hands of elite-owned businesses who love to have houses in the Hamptons, private islands, Mercedes for their daughters. When I deal with these Amish people, these small local businesses, I'm paying them, in some cases, two to three times what these large corporate chains are scamming them for. Uh, you know, the dairy we were going to do, for instance, you know, they're paying these Amish farmers like less than $2 a gallon for the highest quality milk and then charging five, six times that in the supermarket. So hopefully, as we continue to grow, things work out over the next few years, you guys are going to have the highest quality products. You can know at least someone has some integrity left and you're going to get them at the best price available. Uh, so let's read some reviews to start off real quick from my lovely customers. Five star review for the pasture raised eggs, corn and soy free. Eggs look so pure. Wow, is what I had to say when seeing the yolk of these eggs. I had never seen such a deep pure orange color. They're definitely corn and soy free. I love eating eggs, so I feel I know quality and these are the highest I've seen probably ever. Also, there were no cracked eggs as it was probably sealed with bubble wrap. I can't wait to finish my 144 eggs to buy more. Thanks, Frank. So, we actually have eggs available in lower quantities on frankiesrangefoods.com if you guys are like that. And starting this week, I did get the farmer to also do hypoallergenic eggs. So if you can't really tolerate normal eggs, maybe buy a dozen or two dozen of the hypoallergenic eggs to try out on Frankie Syringe Foods. Maybe we'll crack those open later, do a side-by-side, -side. I'll explain them. Um, just check in towards the, towards the end of the video. Five-star review for the beef share. The smoked sausage is very smoky. Looking forward to trying the spiced ones. The hot dogs are delish. Hopefully the pork share goes back in stock soon so I can give that one a try. We will have the shares back in stock this week, guys, and we're also going to do a little tasting video of the new product, so I'm pretty excited to show that when we hop in the freezer, too. Five-star review for the collagen bone broth. I love to scoop it out of the jar from the fridge and eat it with a spoon. It's like jello. Very delicious and nutty taste. I think I'll be getting some more of this. As much as we have a limited amount of prepared products, hopefully at some point in time we have a full kitchen and we're doing, you know, that stuff so you guys, you know, spend a lot less time in the kitchen and you have really delicious high quality products, especially things like the roast beef and the fire roast ribeye that I've been enjoying making. So last week, all of that meat came in for the shares, the beef, the pork. What also came in was our first batch of potato chips. And I didn't put it in the title of this video. I didn't announce them. I didn't send out any emails because he only made like 40 bags and they sold out like the first day I just threw them up on the website. So hopefully we can get like the full batch uh, within this week, next week. So this is what they look like. Nice thick plastic bag. I mean, all the chips for the most part stayed whole. I was, I was very impressed with, with how they packaged them. Uh, they're going to change up the type of potato and maybe cook them a little longer. But guys, these are so delicious. Organic potatoes, fried in coconut oil. I felt so good after eating these. I would always get headaches from the grocery store. But uh, we'll talk more about these next week uh, when we have the full product in stock. Everything on Frankie's Free Range Foods for the most part is in stock, guys. We got the whey protein, the Flextros, the berry vanilla chocolate best bars, the organic rice crisp bars are back in stock. Just restocked some of the plain beef jerky as well. We threw a little bit of salt on it this time, guys. Let me know how you like it. And of course, my new favorite product, <laughs> the very vegan cookies uh, made with white chocolate, minimally inflammatory. I sleep great when eating these because the white chocolate doesn't have caffeine. So definitely be sure to check out frankiesrangefoods.com, guys. So a lot of you guys were asking for beef liver over the past few weeks. We finally did get that back in stock last week. 95.5 Lean Blend is also back in stock. We also have a new organ grind. This has always been a very popular product, so it should be about the same because it is uh, the same ratios of everything, but uh, let me know how you like this in comparison, guys. The uh, eye round roasts are back in stock. Some of you guys like buying a lot of these. We have plenty of suet fat. However, we did get some trim fat too. We limited amount of the trim fat, but we do have some. Since we have a limited amount of space in the fridge, we haven't been able to completely organize the shares yet and list them. But by Wednesday or Thursday of this week, I should have 
all of the new shares available. I uh, just go later into this video where I will be taste testing the new products and talking about them a little more. And uh, all, all these boxes back here, those are the beef tendons, well, supposed to be, but we're actually ligaments. Uh, so those are going to be listed as beef ligament chew toy. So we have the regular pet food and uh, those ligament chews, which are going to be like two or three dollars each. And just give them to your dog. It's like a high quality grass fed pet treat option. Uh, now, some of you guys have purchased the pet food and your cat or dog didn't like it. I just issue a refund. I don't really care, guys. I've already lost a lot of money on the product. So, you know, don't feel as if like, oh, I bought 10 of this. My pet doesn't like it. I'm going to lose it. No. Every single person, if the dog or cat doesn't like it, guys, just email me. You can get a refund. Don't worry about it. So we were out of some of the cheeses for about a week, but everything is fully back in stock, guys. Asiago, blue cheese, Emmentaler, Gouda, Parmesan. We have Pecorino, Manchego, American Cheddar, Gruyere, everything, Fontina as well. And these are actually the different eggs. So here we have the hypoallergenic eggs and the regular eggs. Uh, after we taste the new farm products, just go after that, we'll take a look at the eggs too. All the other businesses are looking good, guys. So if you're not familiar, just check out frank You can see all of them. But since we have a lot to talk about today on the meat and foods stuff, we'll do that right now. So we've showed you guys the regular corn and soy-free eggs in the past. Now we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the hypoallergenic eggs. And I will explain the color difference. And now the color differences here are very, very obvious. You have the typical deep orange, almost reddish, pasture raised, high quality that people are used to. And then we have eggs that are actually way lighter and paler than any eggs you haven't seen before. And without divulging too much information, this is a minimally inflammatory, organic, grain based, no corn, no soy, detox feed for the chickens. So I figured if the chickens are on a minimally inflammatory diet with no allergens, the eggs are gonna be the same. This feed is much more expensive. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit lower in fat soluble vitamins, but I think you guys are gonna tolerate these a little better if you don't normally tolerate eggs. So they're definitely worth a shot. Uh, the downside is these are gonna be like a dollar or two more per dozen. And hopefully as the chickens continue to be on this feed, they're even more and more and more uh, hypoallergenic. So you guys can try these out. Let me know how you like the difference, but I'm excited to have these products and hopefully, you know, eventually a few years down the line when I have my own farm, I'll even fine tune that feed a bit further myself and have even higher quality, more nutritious, less inflammatory animal foods for you guys. Pretty cool, huh? So this time around the beef share has two new products. And I actually forgot to bring home the pork share is going to have just regular pork chops, but um, you guys have an idea of what that is. So this is beef scrapple, kind of similar to spam, except much, much higher quality ingredients. Scrapple is typically made with pork, but I know you guys like beef. And then we have snack sticks. We have plain cheese and syrup, which was supposed to be honey, but I guess my Amish buddy is getting a little fried with radiation over there too. So if you guys are unfamiliar with scrapple, it's when you take all the bones of the animal, you boil them, get like the rich gelatinous meaty chunks, blend it all together with grains. So this is made with very high quality organic barley, organic oats, and heirloom corn. I sourced everything myself, land salt. Healthy scrapple to have ever existed on this planet. So uh, it's kind of like a soft texture. Uh, the difference between this and liverwurst is that this has grains in it, whereas liverwurst is just like pure fat and protein. So this is much better from like a liver health perspective and a balance of macronutrients perspective. So just like Spam, you can slice this up, fry it in a pan, great for breakfast, and since it's already cooked, you don't have to cook it again. Very mild. Yo, this is, I'm very happy with how this turned out. I told him to put a little bit of honey or maple syrup in this. I don't think he did, but it's 
The texture is so creamy. This is amazing. Ultimate survival food here. Ultimate survival food. And that tastes good. Fat, protein, carbs. The main difference between this and the pemmican is that, you know, it has starchy carbs and some fiber. I wouldn't say it's hyper palatable, but if there was honey in this, it would be. Very good. Very, very good. So then we have the plain snack sticks. And uh, if you don't know what these are, uh, and me, myself, as a New Yorker, like, to me, this is kind of like hick food, um, for lack of better terminology. It's like a very smoky, thin sausage, I would call it. They, like, blend up the meat, salt, and then smoke it. So it's like you can eat it. You know, you don't have to cook it or prepare it or do anything to it. Now, I've had snack sticks before, and because this is high quality beef, even though it's very smoky, you still get some freshness and some brightness from the meat. Again, like the scrapple, this isn't hyper palatable. You're not gonna wanna eat 20 of these, but it's very healthy. It'll keep you satiated. It's a nice source of protein. Whereas with all of the other meats we have in the share for the most part, they need to be cooked or prepared. The scrapple and the snack sticks are kind of good to go. So now we have one with syrup, uh, which is maple syrup, even though I told them to do honey. It's okay. Honestly, I'm not that much of a fan, so. You guys are probably gonna get this one in the share for free. I'm not gonna charge you for it. And uh, it's, it's still pretty good though. And now we have the cheese snack stick. And uh, for this, I used Emmentaler, which is a Swiss cheese. It's very, very smoky, uh, so you don't get too much of the cheese flavor, but as you chew it, you can tell there's like a mild Swiss flavor. So maybe next time around, we'll use like a really sharp cheddar cheese in this. Still very good. I, li I like the cheese ones the best. Very good. So I think you guys can like these a lot. Scrapple is um, definitely my new favorite product that we have. Anyway, I'm going to have to stop myself before I eat this whole thing. As always, thank you guys for joining me today. We will have the hypoallergenic eggs listed on the website. And the shares might not be available today, but they will be by Wednesday or Thursday of this week. You're going to get so much stuff in the beef and pork shares, guys. I'm, I'm sure everyone's going to be really happy and excited with the quality of the meat. I haven't had one complaint yet, and we've sold uh, several hundred of them so far. So be sure to go to frankeatsyrangemeat.com as well as frankie2rangefoods.com uh, to check out our high quality products that you cannot get anywhere else. You can go to every Amish farm in your state and no one is making it with as high quality ingredients as I am. Be sure to check it out guys. Everything else is on frank but if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I'll see you guys in a day or two. Thank <music> you.